Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another part of our Saxon campaign playing Attila Total War. And in the last episode we did have a huge battle against this Roman Legion up here, the 6th Legion, fighting for York or Boracum. Um, and it was it was pretty close. Um, in the end we did come out victorious. We lost a f uh, quite a lot of men. But we have, are slowly replenishing and well that's that's really about it to be honest. That's all we really did. Um, we also did like secure like Germania. We've got some more allies and Yeah, we basically now control most of Britain It was just this part of Wales left and with this beaten up Legion We could probably just take it quite easy now But if you've been enjoying this let's play and you haven't already Please do leave a like a subscribe and a comment if there's any advice or anything you want me to try and do like I don't know attack Gaul or go raid Spain or I don't know go find the Huns and kill them if anyone suggests that, I will not be doing it. I will just say. Um, but I've had a few suggestions on what to do. I could. Some people have been asking me to go down to Spain, go and raid it for some uh, money. I would, but it's a long, long way to go. I haven't really got the armies just yet. I would like to have a base certainly in Gaul um, before I then started raiding into Spain. Certainly, like maybe like I don't know, Belgica would be quite a good area to have as a. As like a, a base possibly and then we could possibly go from there we could send some ships around around the coast of Brittany maybe go and raid uh, what is now Bordeaux and then we could go on for places down here that would be what I'd possibly do but I would like to take all of Gaul possibly anyway and maybe go for Italy if I get the chance um, the Romans are making a, a resurgence over here as I showed in the last episode they did take these two regions back from the Macamans um, so we may need to worry about our southern border anyway so that's why I'm building up a few armies over here, um, just in case. The plan is to, uh, well, basically get the smithy. We're probably going to then build some better units, probably for the spirit of the forest, which is controlled by my heir. We have good money, and we're okay on food for the moment, um, but that may change. And are we going up on our... No, this is still going down. Okay, right, so we're going to have to sort out that. We've got a provincial governor we can have. Um, are any of you, I guess you're a merchant so you'd be okay, I could put you in for his edict and then we'll put in, um, I'll put in that one just for like, it's presence, it gets a bonus, but that's about it. But anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well and are staying safe and healthy and whatever else in this trying time with now with a lockdown here in uh the uk it's it's pretty it's there's not much to do i'm just playing games basically all day it's kind of it's kind of a joy uh no i'm not going to just join your war against the saxons i may have to attack the romans this turn because it looks like the caledonians are going to go in for the kill otherwise but i don't know what the burgundians are doing Still hanging around outside my lands. Not okay with that. Um, but yes, also I would like to go after the Franks. So um, they well, they're a bit of a they're a bit of a buffer between me and the Romans, like on the Rhine. I could obviously attack from the Channel and leave the Franks there, but they're I don't know. They're in the way. I'd like to connect my empire up or my kingdom up. Um, Britannia Inferior is going to have a rebellion. I will pay this man off. Pay him off. Um, I'm going to just take it. If there's a rebellion, there's a rebellion. There we go. I can't let the Caledonians have it. I'm sorry, Caledonians. But you're not allowed to have this, this bit of land. Yes, it's going to cause a rebellion. Yes, that is a problem. Uh, Lindum... Probably could hold its own. I don't know. Uh, we're going to put a granary in. Here, I think. And we're also going to put in... Oh, well. Let's repair that. That's a fishing jetty. That's very handy. Um, lead deposit. We'll repair that. Repair that. Uh, fountain. I'm going to knock down. And... Do I want a granary? Or would I rather spend money on a farmstead? And then on... Yeah, I think I'd rather spend money on a farmstead and then on that. Because that's actually okay, because then we get food anyway. 
Yes, we don't have sanitation, but we're dirty people anyway, as barbarians, so do we really need sanitation? Um, right, let's see. I think we'll go with livestock herd, goat barns, and whatever else that one is. Because that one, I imagine, unlocks a lot more. Um, yeah, well, we can get Saxon Lancers, which is very good, which is what I would like, because my cav is awful currently. Um, I am going to possibly raise another army here. Um, just mainly because I have the money. And I could do with two armies in Britain anyway if I send this one off to start raiding into, well, either Gaul or Spain. Uh, then I kind of need to just keep an army, just to keep an eye on Britain. So I'm going to put a uh, massive planner, logistics. Uh, I'm going to put this guy in just because he's like got good logistics. Um, put him in. Also, he then keeps this area well secured. Um, we'll just get him a couple of slingers. And that'll do nicely. Um, the smithy, I imagine... Oh, it's actually done. How much do these guys cost then to get? Where are they? There they are. They still cost a lot in upkeep, so I won't get many of them. Um, I'd still be pumping out Saxon Spears. And other stuff. Nordic Raiders. Ah, they could be pretty handy, but... Not really needing that. Nordic Brigade, I'm probably going to be pumping out still a lot of. Because they're cheap, but they're fairly good at what they do. Um, diplomacy. Let's just see if there's anyone that will do anything with us. Burgundians. I look forward to your wisdom. Hi, there we go. I should have got some money out of you, but... Right now, I've been trying to get that for ages, so... I'm just going to look, just deal with it. <laughs> just take it. Just take it and run. Uh, the Quadians... Greetings, um, I've called for good ale to Ah, they want a military alliance. Oh, well, I'm right. going to try and get as much money out of you as possible then. Nope. Well, they'll give me 300 then. There we go. Right, I'll take that. Military access, hi. There we go. I'll take your military access as well. Let you come through my lands. I'm not too fussed about you walking through my lands in this in this game, it's only... Oh, now we can see quite a lot of stuff done here. Would be... Uh, we can't actually see it. That's annoying. It's only in Davidia and Pera I don't want people to uh, walk Greetings through my lands. Non-aggression with the Abdanians, that would be nice. Um, and I don't really want to give them anything else for now. Picked. Sit, friend, and let us talk. And let us... No. Don't really want to give you military access either. Caledonians. Sit, friend. And let us talk. And let us have good... Hmm. Nah, that's kind of it. That's all I can really do. Um, and that's all I really want to do, to be honest. I'm going to end the turn, and we'll see what happens at the end of this turn. Can you not attack <sighs> Clearly people war? really want to go to, me to go to war with the Franks, but it's not going to happen yet. Ah, I could see the Picts may deal with my rebellion. How good of them. Um, yeah, for that, I will join the fight. So, we are preparing... Ah, he lost the unit, but oh well. That's his fault. The Caledonians better clear off, because I don't want them just sitting around my little uh, settlement here. I'd like to also start converting places to Latin Christianity. Or converting to Latin Christianity. The Geats, we've not seen them yet. Are they going to appear? Who knows? Stopping on them for quite a while... Or it, I don't know what the Geats were doing, but they were doing something. I think it might have frozen and the Geats had just a lot to do. So maybe they're going to appear. Who knows? That's very strange that it froze. Doesn't usually do that. Oh. Oh, the Romans are still, like... Can't, like, take it... Uh, knock the Romans down. They're still fighting back. They're taking back settlements when possible. I mean, don't know if that's a really good idea. It looks like the Quadian's going to go after, like, the Eastern Roman Empire as well. They're clearly not defending their uh, lands very well. Oh, no faction destroyed. The Danes. So they, the Geats were doing stuff. They killed the Danes off. Which I'm not really opposed to because they weren't doing a lot. I'm pretty sure the Danes did... Well, the Danes didn't really like me. Ah, yes. They have a lot of money then. Ah. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I will give you military access. Oh, no. 
I won't. They don't want it. Rude of them. Right, so the Geats in the north are now love us. So that's even better. So all the northern tribes love us. They love us. Um, right, what are we going to build here? What? How is the... Latin Christianity is still going down. And is... Uh, it looks like it, right? Aryan Christianity is going to go up. But I don't want that to happen. Um, maybe I am going to start converting just Germanic paganism. Maybe Germanic paganism is what's going to live throughout this world. Uh, religious differences. Let's change that then. Let's get that going. Let's bring in a sacred ground to help convert this place. It seems like that's what's going to happen. It seems like I can't afford to... like. I want to keep this Latin church, but at the same time, it's it's costing actually me to keep it going. Public order plus three, uh, religious influence of Latin Christian. Uh, it's it's going down. I'm not a fan of this. And pa uh, Aryan paganism is going up, as is Celtic paganism. Well, I can't get it to unless someone knows a way that I can get it to. Latin Christianity to go up like massively there's uh I'm just gonna have to live with it and I'm gonna knock that down as well I'll knock down the Latin Christian church I think um let's put in because we have the money now we have quite a lot of income let's buy a couple of Nordic warband um they could be pretty handy I have no skirmishes here I can't recruit a single skirmisher so I'm gonna have to go back to Tullaferdum just to buy slingers. Oh well, I'll do that at the end, like when this army's nearly complete. Um, again, here, a Latin shrine. I'm gonna knock this down. It's just not working anymore. It's just not working. We're gonna have to start converting um, stuff to like Germanic paganism, which actually is fine because most of these nations are still Germanic pagan themselves. It's just. Yeah, it's not even that the end of the world. Allens? Yeah, I could get the Allens. I mean, I can see a lot of people now. <laughs> Clearly, uh, there's a lot going on. I'm not too far. I can now see. I can now see the Eastern Roman Empire. Dacia as well. Yeah, the Eastern Roman Empire is not looking so hot right now. Illyria. Who's this? Oh, the Huns. Okay, we found the Huns. Speak. I will listen. Okay, the Huns are in Illyria. Oh, they're not looking too strong. They're looking, yeah, 10 stack and an 11 stack. That's not that bad. I was expecting them to have more than that by now. Um, and they're nowhere near my land, so that's fine. We can beat them if needs be. They're not even that, yeah, they're not strong yet. I'm not too, not too worried, he says. Um, Nordic Mounted Raiders. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one and put in these two. That'll save on a upkeep, basically. Oh, Saxon like Mounted Warband are pretty good. Medium melee, but these are very light. I'm not too fussed about... The Cav's just there just to really mop up stuff in the back. It's not... Until I get Lancers, um, which can actually do some decent fighting, I'm not too worried. Um, end the turn, I think. Oh, no, we've got some skills that need doing. Uh, you're a governor. You can have... Uh, nothing there, <laughs> it would seem. Uh, construction cost, yep, yeah. and do food from reserves, that's always good. Oh, no, we actually didn't do what we wanted you to, to give you. You're a governor as well. Well, that's cool, but I haven't actually given out what I wanted to do. Um, you can have, have that and then have that, there you go. And then this one, this chappy here can have um, wealth and he can also have zeal. There we go. Excellent. Right, end the turn. So the Picts are going, the Caledonians are going. I bet the Caledonians are going to go and find a new home in uh, France, which is fine. I don't necessarily want to take all of France or Gaul. I just want to take a bit. Give myself a little base of operations. Also gives me an excuse then to just to crush... Um, the Franks in the rear 
Like, I can squash on both sides. Yeah, the Romans really are making it offensive. Is that two legions just stood on top of each other? No, one's died. I don't know if that was a Rome. That might have been rebels. I don't know. But the Romans really are making a push. Are they going to go for that that region here and expand into a place that really isn't theirs? I don't know. The Quadians are back, so they're saved their little bit. Edict issued yet. That should sort this out. This should start to go up then. Germanic paganism is going to slowly go up. I will put in... Um, Yeah, let's put in this for sanitation. I bet that's... They're not happy with, like... Uh, I don't know, actually. I'm not too fussed about it being dirty. Uh, Western Germanic separatists we found. Okay, and we've found out that that's been demolished. I'm going to demolish it again. Um, right, 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 right. We have plenty of money to do stuff. Uh, is this converting? No, this, well, this is going up. That's fine. I don't really care about it being anything else. Um, you can... Right, which one's going to give us a lot of money from the economy? This... No, there's one that's 750 bone carver. That could be pretty handy. Yeah, I'll take the bone carver. I do need to really put in a port, but... We can do that in time. Um, right. And then if we can just build up the economy, then we can eventually... The cost of, like, converting all these places will be worth... Will just be nothing. It's still all very expensive to do right now, but... We'll sort that out. Yeah, it's 5,000 in these regions. That's not too bad. Could save up and start converting some of these. Um, and then we've got 1,000 left. 1,000 pennies to do something with. I might just save them. Um, and we've got 10 in... Yeah, I'm going to start saving money and I'm going to start moving this army back down to Londinium. What's that? Let's put it at plus two. That's fine. Plus two is perfectly good. I'm going to have lots of things coming in to boost it in a minute. Um, you def you can't force... Oh no, you can force march, of course. This is still a game where you can force march. Right. So we're then going to go for Rontomagus. Going to attack there. Take Dura Cortorum or wherever it is and Colonia Agrippi Agrippina. Agri Agrippina? I don't know. I'm I can't project, pronounce these names. Uh, but yeah, then we're also then, probably after that, we'll probably then strike the Franks. We can get the gems that we really, really want. And we'll have more regions that are Germanic pagan. Which is always good. So it saves us time to convert stuff. Always good. So we'll end the turn. That will, obviously, that's the general plan for many, many turns ahead. That is, uh, I don't think we'll get that all done in one part, but we will see. Just need to keep an eye on my uh, allies to the allies to the north. The Western Roman Empire falling back. Probably the safest move it could do. It doesn't really want to expand any further, especially when the Huns are on the move. Oh, okay, the Quadians have taken more land. They really are like expanding. So I've never seen them do this well. They usually like take maybe a couple of regions up here in Illyria and then just die to the Franks usually. Noble birth. Ah, yes. Another no. How many noble births were there? That's it. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Um, I'm going to see if I can get any money out of anyone because I would like to convert one of those places to a... Uh, well, just to like... West, the, the, Welcome, worthy friend. To the uh, to the top. I just don't want it to be flipping. Okay, we've done Sit, something with you already. Hi, talk. there we go. I can and get some money out of you. It's gonna anger the Huns, board. but I don't care. The Huns aren't strong enough. Oh, this is really good. All right, so you take a thousand. Uh, they give me that moderate. Wow. Um, let's just kind of change that then. Let's change that to 1500. I'm sure. Oh, that's still high. 1600? Moderate. But they do that, so that's fine. Excellent. We might actually be able to do something else as well then. 
Um, so I'm going to change Kalmadunum to a Torp, mainly because that one's more under threat. That'll take eight turns. There we go. Berg has already been sorted here. The Berg has been sorted. And we shall basically just go into the sea. It's going to take a couple of turns to get there. It's going to take about two turns. Uh, we might be able to do something else with the money we have. I'm going to just start building a small garrison here. Uh, probably with some levy, and I'll get a couple more of the slingers. How's our economy looking for... If we bought these guys in, our economy's looking real good. Like, there's not much else I can do. That's pretty damn good. Um, What else can I do? What else can I do? I mean, tech we're good. I mean, yeah, actually, that's an idea. Elsa, can you... No, you can't. That's annoying. I'm, let's make you a tribal chief as well. Um, Senred, you're actually doing goddamn well. I would like to adopt some people. Um, it would be you that would have to be able to do it. We've got lots of things over here. I don't really want to promote any of them. I'd like to actually start... I mean, to be honest, we have a small family tree. I mean, lots of these people should start to... Um, well, come of age. I say that. They're all very young still. Yeah, nine is the youngest. Wow. They're not coming of age anytime soon. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I may have to adopt some people into the family just to keep Dominion strong and power strong in our faction. But who knows? Uh, end the turn, we've got unassigned skill. Another governor needs to give out some command. Um, well, not command. Some corruption. Get rid of that. Get rid of some corruption. Going down here doesn't really benefit uh, governors, so we'll probably just go for... Um, authority helps with public order so that's always handy as well so we'll do that, that should sort that out a bit um, oh I did actually hmm. yeah maybe I shouldn't build all these units because we're not doing atrocious and we're not going to be a rebellion is there any way I can get some money what would I like I'd like a, a sacred ground, I think I'm going to have to save the money if that's the case, then I'll actually just say I'll just buy all those units then, and um, I didn't want that many. There we go. Um, save. I'll just buy it next turn. So that's what I need to spend my money on is sacred ground um, with next turn's monies. The Caledonians, what are they going? Yeah, they are. They're going to go for Bordeaux. I I would put money on them going to take Bordeaux. Interesting to see how all the Sassanids are doing. I probably will never see them ever in this game, playing basically in Germany. But it'll be interesting to see how much uh, if they're at war with the West Eastern Roman Empire. Um, I'll have to have a check at the end in diplomacy. Western Roman Empire seem to be like got most of their armies in the west. No, not in the west. Well, they are in the west anyway. Um, in the like eastern part of their empire, like around Illyria, seem to be doing a lot of stuff there. Off is secured for this man. Excellent. Right. Let's see whether we can do anything else. Um, yes, we can. We can take this by force. Excellent. And we'll just fight. We won't bother fighting that. It's not even worth it. I am. I do apologize. We've not had a uh, a battle yet, but um, it's nothing really worth fighting. I'm not going to just fight over a unoccupied city. It's not really that good. We've got salt though. If anyone's that inter we excited, we have salt now. Um, anyway, sacred ground, please. Um, let's repair the port. Let's knock that down. Knock that down and repair that. And run to Magus is now ours. And we have a foothold in Gaul. Excellent. Um, could I upgrade anything? If I got a little bit of money out of someone. Probably not. Um, yeah, probably. I don't know. No, definitely not that. Oh, no, definitely not. It would like, look like we'd have to recruit some more troops, which I might do just to prepare for a war with the Franks. Um, I'd like you to have... Uh, you should, you're better going down this way, I think, aren't you, really? And... guess we could go with... 
that one. Cavalry. Uh, what's this? Oh, we can upgrade these guys. Retrain them. For Nordic Raiders, which are so much more expensive. I want to know what they come into. What they turn into. Nordic Brigands. Is it going to tell me what they turn into? No, it won't. Can I look at what they are? No, not really. I don't really want to put Nord... I'd really want to get rid of my uh, Javis, to be honest. I might do that now. Um, I'd rather have Slingers. Javis just don't have as much ammo. Slingers are just nastier as well. Um, let's put some Saxon Spears in and a couple of Nordic Brigade. Yeah, I thought that would be the case. And then we've got 400 left. That's fine. Um, that's plenty of money left. And then we've got a small army here, which is fine. We don't really need any more. This army is just replenishing. That's doing just fine. That can attack Dora Corum next turn, in theory. Do we have any missions that we need to do? I probably have got missions that I need to be doing. Um, United, we stand. What's this one? Be at war with three factions. Well, who else? Well, who are we at war with? Well, yeah, we're only at war with the Western Romans. Don't really want to be at war with anyone else. We were at war with these guys in here. I could go to war with the Lugians. Um, don't really want to. The yeah, the Lugians and actually the Lugians don't mind me now. To you. I trust and they give me trade, so I might take that trade. How much would you actually give me then for trade? I might not might not attack you now if you give me trade. There we go. I'll take your trade. Uh, Non-aggression. There we go. There we go. We're surrounded now by friends. Completely surrounded by friends, and we're looking a lot better. We could possibly even buy something. See if there's anything else we could get out of someone. The Jutes. Um, no, the Geats. Would you give me anything? Would you be that desperate? Oh, you really would like mil military access. No, that's a bit too much, apparently. But that was a very good deal. Uh, which I can now... I would have thought I could buy some and build something with this. Apparently not. Jeez, it's going to be expensive. Um, no, I don't really want... Allens, I will try and get a non-aggression with you. Hi, yes. Food for two armies awaiting us. You clearly are a poor, a poor people. I'd like to actually do an Allens campaign, see if I can actually do well. I don't think it's physically possible, because they seem to always seem to... They seem to die so quickly. Um, right, I would like to put in... Ooh, I could do... Germanic Standing Stone. And that then is pretty handy. This one's possibly better. It enables us to get priests. Hmm. Or we could go with wealth and commerce. This is in the north, which is still a bit iffy on public order. So I'm going to go with... And our food's fine. So I'm going to go with a sacred grove. Our uh, public order needs sorting out, really. And it can also help convert stuff. So we'll end the turn there, and we will see what happens. See whether we can um, get a battle, maybe just for the end of the uh, end of the episode. Extend this episode on for a little bit longer. Lord I'll take that, Vandals. Also, the Caledonians, not a clue what they're doing. Then they're just going to send their fleet out to go and die. Western Romans. Oh, looks like the uh, Macamans are going to retake uh, Augusta Vindelicorum. Oh, no, they broke the siege. Why? There was no need, unless there's like, they're at war with some other factions. I don't know. I'd meant to look at see who who's at war with the Eastern Roman Empire. See how bad of a situation they're in. I'm going to say a very bad situation since Judea is on the map. I've never seen Judea on this map. Okay. They're not at war with the Sassanids. If that's a positive, they're at war with the Huns, the Tanu kids, the Abdani. Oh, well, yeah, most of these are just drawn in. Allens, Visigoths. Oh, the Visigoths are still alive. Jeez. Yeah, no wonder then that they're not doing so well. Oh, these are held by Unknown. So I bet these are held by the Visigoths. I bet. Because you can't get... Then Macedonia would take all of this, wouldn't it? Um, The Western Roman Empire is still strength ranking number one. I'm going to have to take them down myself. I think they're actually... Doing better than they're doing better than the East. That is a first, but they're still strength ranking too. Well, they do hold, but just about everything over here. Oh, they lost this though. I wonder if that's just been burnt to the ground. Oh no, it's unknown, so it would be desolate otherwise. Yeah, they just lost like one or two territories. 
Okay, so we've got a bit of an uphill battle um, in that case. Well, not really. They have. They've got a bigger uphill battle than me. Um, I, on the other hand, am going to start sending armies out, I think. Oh, I didn't want to buy that. My, uh, okay, that's their garrison. Their garrison, a lot worse. Okay, I will send this army south. This army north. Why are you haters so much then? I could do with putting something in here for public order then, it would seem. I'm going to send you in here. You can help there. You're a full stack. You can do your thing. You can start recruiting slingers. You get the... You're like, oh yes, we're getting an upgrade in our army. What are you getting? Slingers. That's... that's uh, What an upgrade. <laughs> And then I guess I could put some pikes in there, but I don't really need to put any more in there just now. Um, I could improve, like, um, this, which will improve food, actually. It would damage the squalor, but squalor's looking... It's looking okay. It's not looking atrocious, but it's not looking amazing. I would like to put in a trade jetty. I know this will damage the public order. Oh, actually, maybe I should put public order in first, then put in... Yeah, I'll do that. Put public order in first, then I'll put in the trade jetty. We basically get the amount of money that we need every turn anyway, so it's not that atrocious. Um, we will carry on our attacks. We will go and take Durakorum. Yep, nothing here, as expected. Right, we'll just take this for ourselves. Be aggressive. Aggressive or nothing. Chop him down. Excellent. And there we go. That is probably going to be a nice little victory. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to knock... I could actually... I could leave that there. It's going to be very expensive. I'm going to knock it down, make it uh, just a one a one stack or whatever it's called, whatever you call it. Oh yeah, we have a lot of like free stuff over here that we really needed to upgrade, but oh well. Um, let's put in authority and then let's put in melee defense sentinel. There we go. That guy, he's looking pretty good as Hengist. I will not lie. Um... What was I building here then? I actually would I be better then just to upgrade these since they're here. Assault deposit, maybe. Um, I'm gonna put in. I'd like to put in a sacred ground. I'm gonna put in. No, I won't put in anything else here. That is an assault deposit. Can I get any money to then go and build? How much do I need? I need like a lot of money, don't I? I need one thousand. I need basically a thousand. Can I get a thousand out of someone? Probably not. But I trust you <laughs> Make a tributary. I don't think they would look, say yes to that. Uh, Bastanians. Um, no, I didn't think that would be the case. I need to just find some people that really hate the Romans. I mean, you really hate the Romans, apparently. My friend, ah, they really do want to... They... The blessings of Christ, the Saviour... You stop talking about the Lord. It's uh, we're not allowed, not allowed to talk about the Lord. Ah, you don't really like the Bur uh, Burgundians, though. But we are still going up. Welcome, ah, and the defensive alliance with you. Let us break bread and drink ale before work. A little bit more, make it a thousand, and you've got yourself a deal. We've got to do some good bartering here. There we go. See, that's how you barter. Get yourself a little bit of bartering going on. Um, I'm now going to upgrade that, so that's what I'm meant to do. We've got enough money to do it. I'll save like the money to just build a salt deposit next turn. But we've got lots of resources now. I mean, like, let's look at the amount of resources we have. Oh, I said lots. We have three. <laughs> I mean, I thought Londinium... Well, actually, we're not actually producing the iron works, are we? So, yeah, we have it, but we... To be fair, the growth here is atrocious. Um, it's really just not happening. Hopefully we can start to get stuff to grow here. Um, with like a sacred ground and stuff. We'll see. We will see, won't we? Um, yeah, that's probably where we're going to have to wrap up this this episode, guys. I do apologise that there wasn't a battle in this one. But in the next episode, we do plan to take on the Franks. We're going to make some attacks against them. And take their lands for ourselves. So we can then cross the Rhine and join up with our uh, expedition force here in Gaul. And then we can carry on the fight. And then we may also be able to get down to like here and 
because it looks, seems like the Makamans are having a problem, so I might just take advantage of that and attack them myself. But anyway, guys, until next time, please leave a like and subscribe, and bye for now.